Okay, so uh, we start, <laughs> we just <laughs> quickly start that, like the ne next section, like what, the, what are the actual cases in the online course database of innovat innovative teachers. So uh, today we have, uh, uh, today we, ha we have uh, two speakers also from Japan. And hi, Mayumi-san. Hi. And hi, Aidi-san. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so, so can you um, just briefly introduce yourself and your project? Uh, okay. Hi. Uh, we are Cross Tech Lab team. I'm Mayumi and Aidi. Uh, before starting, I have a message. Uh, I'm so sorry, I have to leave here after the movie. Uh, during Q&A time, I leave you answer the questions. Uh, thank you for your understanding. So. Okay, so uh, can you just uh, introduce why you started this project? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, first of all, uh, when Japanese school had as course as COVID-19, I took care from my friend's line message. Uh, no way, my, my daughter will stay home all time a month. Uh, then I had researched some edtech texture of free for her and to tweet them at the account. Uh, please look that. Uh, this tweet name is Konna no aru yo online gakushu bot. Uh, there are a lot of announcements about it. I introduced to her and she said it what she, she, sorry <laughs> she said it. It was very good information. Uh, but more few days she sent next message. Uh, this is too much information to choose the text to my daughter. Uh, I didn't imagine it. Uh, after that, I created case studies about recent using tech and made a database. Uh, let's show you it. Yes, uh, this spreadsheet. Um, I I rejoined the project at at the time. She was helping me to correct case studies and making it. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, please. Is it okay, my voice? Yes. Okay, then I will continue. As Mayumi san said, like please help me to collect these case studies. Then like when Miami asked me to join this project, I saw it would be really nice opportunity to have school case studies in the COVID-19. To be honest, students cannot have all, almost nothing information about the COVID-19. So for me, it is really good opportunity. Oh, so, so we, we need the case study, right? Yeah, uh, we made it, uh, but uh, in fact, the Japanese teachers are not good at using ICT tools. So if we give it to them, uh, they can't catch up with the information that is needed, right? Right, Ivy? Yeah, exactly. To explain about the situation, teachers do not use ICT to at all. Even university students, actually I'm a university student, so I can explain it, but like even university students do not know how to use the Google slide or spreadsheet. As my friend said, like what is Google slide and like how to use it? 
um, wait, when will we use it <laughs> like this? So this conversation, maybe all of the background, there is a reason that the lessons are not active in Japan. Students are just listening to the teacher's lecture and they do not have opportunity to have the presentation at any lessons. So they do not need to use the PowerPoint or Google slide. So, so they don't know how to use it exactly. And Mayumi-san and I thought just to make the database, no one would not use it. Then we need, we end up to make the website Class Tech Lab. And by making this, we hoping to the database can show to everyone to make it easier. And as we do not have knowledge about IT, we asked for more people to join the project and text got we could make the website. Um, web designer and engineer joined to the project and expand ideas and also members from code for Japan for creating online home room joined to this project and gave us a few case studies. Um. At this time, I was just impressed. Uh, I couldn't make this project by myself. Uh, I could make it because many people joined my project at Code for Japan. It's my pleasure. Um, also, when I tell the website to some teachers in Japan, uh, they are also impressed too. Uh, Okay, uh, we made a movie about the story of Classic Love in 10 months. Uh, please show it. And I would like to continue to have discussion about this theme with you after this session. Uh, please, share, please share in a Slack. Uh, thank you. Okay. Actually, this is a call mm -hmm. for the Slack. We can show you later too okay uh hashtag online plastic love okay so let's start the movie okay so uh they they, they are the projects from couple japan community so if you want to find them uh and co-work with them please join like couple japan slack and find their uh, channels. So we are going to like sh uh, show their videos. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Mayumi Kamio. I'm the founder of the project. I am studying EdTech at Digital Hollywood Graduate School. I organize EdTech training for teachers and work with government to hold international conference. Hi, my name is Aidi Yazawa. I'm studying education at university. This a for z sleeve is my st student group name, means make you happy in Portuguese. At the group, we hold few events on online. Also, I coordinate some programming lessons for kids. And after graduate, I'm going to be a kindergarten school teacher. Here are our teammate. Before this career, I was working at NPO. So I had passion with making an innovation by citizen activity. Therefore, I have planning this project to code for Japan and making it with teammate who agree with the project. Before we introduce our project, let's explain Japanese educational situation on COVID-19. Japanese government gave an official notion to school on February 28, and most of school had closed on March 2nd. After close of school, there was a huge program that Japanese education side didn't utilize tech at all. Believe it or not, from the OECD data, it was revealed that both teachers and students are the group of the least tech-using people. So
So there was nothing tech in the student learning environment. In other words, if you don't get a, in a classroom where you can meet face to face, teachers will not be able to teach, then students will stop learning. In order to solve this problem, the government hastily created a learning support site. Also, the government called on edtech companies to provide edtech text free of charge. However, Japanese people have a culture that values fairness very much. So if there was a student without a device or internet in a school, the school do nothing with the ICT. And again, teachers cannot give a change to run for students while the school is closing. Before, the government has given the teachers a notice that they should do whatever they can, even if there is left behind student. If you cannot get a face to face, the lack of running options is a big problem. Therefore, Teachers have changed their mind to the idea that technology should be used. By using internet, classrooms can be created in the space of the internet. And there will be an infinity number of teaching materials. So finally, teachers have started making innovation by sharing information with Facebook group and start tried and error. For example, there is a teachers holding class by using Zooms. Moreover, there were students starting their own study session, such as online homerooms, self-studies, invite teachers on online and hold a workshop, and there is online field studies that students can research and investigate about what they want to know by using internet and discuss about it on online. Nevertheless, there are many teachers struggling with COVID-19 situation. So what are the teachers struggling with? We have heard to teacher about the issue using tech in their classes. Through healing to teachers, we find three issues. The first, it is difficult to search for past particle cases. The second is there is little of information about tech education and it is difficult to find. The third is teachers hard to find friends to work with tech education. Because of these issues, teachers have stopped challenging, even though many teachers want to use tech to give their students learning opportunities while they are not at school. Actually, these issues are pretty simple, isn't it? So why don't we solve it with the tech? Then, we have starting this class tech lab project, making a website that will allow teachers to share and search for case studies about lessons using tech. And teachers can interact and experiment at this website community. Then we propose the project at the Hexen called Social Hack Day at Code for Japan. After that, we collect case studies about lesson using tech and made this database. Then we made a search engine and a website. Finally, now teachers can post and search the case studies. Like the top, teachers post the case studies, then search other cases try use case studies in their own classes. So
So now we would like to introduce the case studies that gather at Class Tech Lab. This is summary of a various class project from K-12 to high school. Teachers for in this project are from all over the country. Also, teachers holding study meeting and update this summary each time. And there is an event that introducing on case study on YouTube called Manabit Otomeruna. And moreover, there is a school website that's summarizing effort of the entire school in detail. And at this website, we can also find interview article covered by the media. I'm sorry that I can't finish all the interaction here, but please search and see for more in detail on our website. Japanese teachers are also doing their best, so please visit to our website from this code. And since it is Japanese, we recommend you to use the translation of Google Chrome. Then next our step is to make community for teachers that is able to interact on this website and give their chance to challenge a new teaching method on online. We are conducing planning meeting and research on what to do. And we are welcome to have new ideas. So please share your tips and let's create new communities in this crowd. There's another theme on this project. Education in Japan has long been a cross community and public participation has been withheld. As a result, school was separated from the society and creating a gap between the school and the society. At the end, Japan became the least tech using country in the OECD countries. The idea of making school as an open community has been increasing in the last few years, but citizens who were participate in education were only interested in help lessons or watch over the children. So with Crustic Love working in the city tech community, IT professionals such as engineers and designers who have had little contact with education can join to the school in new ways, encouraging teachers through website and creating a new teacher community on the crowd is a new challenge. If diverse people are involved in education, new possibilities will open up in the future. We hope that Crustec Lab will increase the number of innovative teacher challenges. So thank you for your attention. Again, here is the QR code for our website, so please visit. And if you had interest in our project, here is the group code on Slack. So welcome to join us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we have some questions from our um, audience. So but <laughs> one of, yeah. I think one of the point I saw in the presentation is very interesting. Like the idea yeah. of making school as uh, mm -hmm. open community. Mm -hmm. right, so I, I want to know uh, what's current uh, situation in Japan now? Can you just briefly? Oh speak well, about this? Yeah. now it's getting better, but it's third uh, getting the getting the nervous people again. So we am not sure what will be next year, but from Right now, 
every, every student can go to the school except the university students. We have like online lessons still. Yeah. So I think we need to think about the I use ICT more and more. So uh, is uh, a lot of teachers or students use your platform? Like how, how they feel oh, well, about your platform? And well, well like we just created now. So we would like to share many teachers and students from now. So this, this uh, right now, like few people are using this community. So we'd like to share you right now and like please use this platform and please gain this community more and more and uh, also and uh i i'm very surprised that i i just know that uh japanese students uh do not use computers a lot yeah <laughs> like uh under uh, like under senior high school so Mm -hmm. why, why can you just <laughs> <laughs> why I, I i want to ask why too <laughs> you know okay. like i used to live in brazil so i was using ict more and more like why i don't know why japanese people don't use ict but like i think it's quite difficult difficult for them but this is a time to use ict more and more so Japanese education has to change and they're trying to change it now. So by using this at home, we hope to change this Japanese education situation. Okay, so about ICTs, like what uh, Japanese like students love to, like what uh, platform or uh, like uh, social media platform like stu students Used to, uh, used to uh, chat with their friends or hang out with friends. You like mean? What's, yeah, what's, uh, what's uh, social media in Japan? You mean like what kind of social media uh, uh, students are using, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for education, mm -hmm. they use Surara and like let me show some application. Can I? Yes, yes, please. Can I share the sorry. Uh in Japan many students are using like this kind of this kind of application. They can log into this like application to study math or like uh science or every subject. I can't enter this right now, but like there is like some application that it has like so many tests so they can uh, have tests by themselves and they can uh, study by themselves. And not just for the study, they are using Instagram and like line and everything, but for studying, they don't have any like ideas to how to use ICT. Okay, I, I'm curious about like what 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 about uh, coding, coding uh, learning. Like, is uh, Japanese students want to learn how to coding or like it's not not so much in Japan? Uh, you mean programming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, the Japanese uh, education st just started the coding lessons from the junior high school. So they are trying to uh, learning the coding, but even teachers don't know how to teach the code. So <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen, but we hope that uh, many students and teacher will interest to the coding or like ICT tools. And like, I don't know how to say it, but like, I'd like to the uh like enjoying the education by through the ict or learning coding okay okay so so our questions is 
done. So, so okay. yeah, I want to thank you, like Alison, to come to uh, talk with us. So thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much.